Okay, let's get the show on the road, and look, I have much more precision with my controls now. This is so amazing. This is going to go out next update. Let's see if we can take out a few ducks now. Maybe we'll even be able to shoot the dog. We'll do the old yeller mode activate. And here we go, guys and gals. Let's take my time, light up my shot. Bam, one down. Two down! You know what, let's make it cooler. I'm going to go into, uh... The quick menu options here. We're going to make this just a little bit cooler. I'm going to go into the display main menu. Resume. And I'm going to go to cheats here. And I'm going to enable cheats. I'm going to give myself infinity shots. Mode activate. Return to main menu. Return back to the game. Um, I got to go back into the options and disable main menu. Resume. Now that that, I'm going to enable turbo fire. Let's do this. Hold the attack button, select. Now no dark get left behind, look at that. Let's see how many stages we can do and uh, hopefully take out the dog in the process here. You ain't getting away any of you ducks now. No duck left behind, never go full duck. This is hilarious. And you're gonna be able to play a few other like on games as well. And this analog support is also gonna benefit many racing games such as Super Hang On. And even OutRun. I mean, this is such an incredible change. And it's for the better of detriment of many hundreds of games. Okay, uh, let's do the skeet shoot stage right now. Okay. Bam! Look at that precision. That is so cool. It's been years since I've been able to enjoy it like this with a controller. I mean, the light gun was the last time I enjoyed it this much. This is so incredibly cool. <laughs> Look at that. There's a rumor many years ago that you could basically break the NES uh, zapper gun and just shoot it anywhere and have a... Uh, Targets on the screen to get the story, but I've never actually seen it happen. Okay, let's shoot the dog! Again, if you shoot the dog, the stage ends immediately, but look, bam! I shot the dog, and he's gonna go across the screen in kind of like Looney Tunes, uh, Roadrunner fashion. That is hilarious. Ouch, shoot the dog, not me. Let's try another stage now. Too bad I can't shoot the dog there. Look how quick the ducks move. You might remember in the NES version when you used the second controller, your friend could actually control the ducks and really muck things about. But definitely a very, very cool experience. We're going to try a few of the other light gun games while we're here. Let's try out, uh, how about Freedom Force uh, as our next game. This is such a cool game too. Okay, we're going to load up Freedom Force now. First Freedom Force, a great game made by Sunsoft. Here we go. I didn't disable Turbo Fire yet, but I'm going to go into the main menu again, and let's see what kind of cheats we have for this cool game. Main menu on, and remember you got to do this for main 2003+. plus. For the main 2003 Extreme and Standard, you can just use R2, or reprogram temporarily, R1 to R2. So it works all ways, I usually have all three installed. Display main menu, resume. I'm going to go to the uh, cheats here. Enable cheats, and uh, we're going to give myself... Infinity error so I could shoot the hostages too and infinity ammo. Why not? Good enough for me and Then we're gonna resume And we're gonna try this game out and get a stage or two in Cool game and much better with the precise analog controls Great great thumping soundtrack typical of your Sunsoft games to boot So much better, and look, it even has blood in it. How cool is that? You think Nintendo would have noticed this, but they didn't. Let's shoot the hostages too, why not? We can because I have the code to do so. We have a license to kill, James Bond style. This <laughs> is such a cool game. And of course, when I play these uh, again, I'm going to be doing them all legitimately because I want to get some true scores 
go to compete with my friends and loved ones, then. We got two more games we're gonna showcase that uh, we're gonna run with the uh, controller as well. Okay, we beat the first stage there, cool. Again, I don't normally cheat, I'm just doing it for the showcase of this video. And we all know Sunsoft made stuff like Blaster Master, and of course the Gremlins game, Fester's Quest, and so on. I mean, they made such a great amount of games. We got a couple more like gun games we can check out. Okay. I think I'm gonna disable Turbo Fire before I exit this game before I do the next game. I'm gonna disable Turbo Fire now. Hold down the attack button and select. Now it's disabled. Now I'm gonna exit and we're gonna try out uh, one of the other two light gun games. We have uh, Gumshoe and of course uh, Hogan's Alley. We'll try those two as our final two games. Uh, we'll do Verse Gumshoe now, which is also an incredibly cool game. So we're gonna load that up and uh, see what this is all about. And of course, Gumshoe is an incredibly cool gimmick of a game. Kind of reminds me of the time I went over to a friend's house and they happened to have a uh, Nintendo Power Pad and World Class Track Meet. Of course, I got it on my hands and knees and I exploited the bejesus out of the game and made myself run superhuman like Superman uh, with the unexpected Fist of Fury instead of my feet. But we've all done that, have we not? Uh, we're going to see what kind of cheats we have here. And again, you're going to need the Cheats H mod installed in order to do this. I'm going to give myself Infinity Bullets, and I'm going to disable the main menu again from the options. And we're also going to enable Turbo Mode Fire Activate for this one. Again, you just hold down the Attack button, and then the Select button accordingly. And you have Turbo Mode Fire Activate. This is a pretty interesting game. I have to say, I've not owned many like on games on the original Nintendo. Mainly stuff like Bio Billy. And of course, the Operation Wolf and Duck Hunt, I mean, but never Hogan's Alley or even this game. Look at the sea monkeys in the air that we can take out. Well, not really sea monkeys, but they look a little bit like them. You have all kinds of stuff on the screen. This would actually work out quite well as a touch screen game if you think about it. Very, very interesting stuff here. And uh, back to my uh, Red Fox speak. I mean, there's a great, great movie with Red Fox, Richard Pryor, and even Eddie Murphy and Della Reese, which is incredible called Harlem Nights. I love that movie and uh, you just gotta see the Della Reese portions where uh, she takes the uh, guys outside and gives them a beat down. It is non-stop funny. Some of the best 1980s, 90s moments I've seen in movies. I need to go back and watch Harlem Nights after I do this video. Why not? And I need to watch uh, Coming to America because a good friend Mike uh, told me that they're gonna do a continuation of Coming to America which is a great, great classic 80s movie. And, uh, oh, third time's the charm here. We're gonna try one more. And there's another movie that I started watching yesterday. I'm not gonna tell you what movie it is, but I'm gonna do a little bit of a cultural reference to it in the last portion of this video and see if you can guess what I'm talking about. But we're gonna do third time's the charm here. I'm gonna try to take them up to a higher altitude than normal. And hopefully these, uh, sea monkey wannabes do not take me out. Let's see how far I can make it here. But very, very interesting and in just everything coming at you willy-nilly here. Sea monkeys, bottles, cars, all kinds of crazy stuff. Balloons. I'm not even sure what this game's about plot-wise. I need to read the manual, but no, I never read the manuals for any game. I just play the game, then I come back to the manuals later. Great. <laughs> oh no. I got this. Turbo mode fire activate for the win. And now we're going to showcase Hogan's Alley, which was showcased in Back to the Future 2 by Michael J. Fox. One of my favorite movies of all time. And we're going to do this one legitimately without turbo mode, fire activate, and or cheats. Then we're going to showcase a couple more games after this. we got to pick out the bad guy in the lineup in short working order and take him out accordingly. See if we can pull a few of these off. That's nice, right in my scope. We got this. Okay, hat trick. We got a couple more games to showcase after it's at least two or three more games. Okay, we'll try the next stage and see if we get anywhere. Not too shabby, but it would be nice to have the true peripheral. I want to be able to run this on my LED, LCD, and plasma TV accordingly. Oh great, two in a row there. Definitely didn't expect that. 
It is randomized, which is kind of cool. It's not the same thing every time. Yeah, it's pretty fast-paced. I'm definitely going to be coming back to this one, but uh, another thing that people have been having big, big issues with has been running Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., etc. with the appropriate setup with sound. I'm going to give you a clarification of exactly what I'm referring to right now, and I'm going to make this a lot easier with the next update, and many of you will be thoroughly happy as a result. We're going to load up Donkey Kong right now. And uh, typically, there are a couple areas where the samples would not trigger properly unless they were set up, and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean when I start the game here. And this drives a lot of people crazy. When you start the game, just watch carefully right now as I clarify this in action. As Donkey Kong climbs to the top, he'll hop up and down and you should hear a bashing noise. Bam, bam, bam. If you don't hear that, these sound samples are not set up properly. And the second thing that you need to watch for trigger-wise is when Mario starts to run with his animation, the squeaky noise, they wouldn't trigger either. And this is driving many, many people insane trying to figure this out, but in the update, just install RetroArch Extreme and the appropriate course, and you're going to be able to run Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., Jumpman Returns, and of course uh, the Pauline hack, and you're going to be able to have the sounds activate properly. Very nice and easy. Okay, we got this, guys and gals. We got two more games to showcase before the end of this video, but uh, all these four Donkey Kong games are going to be accounted for. Awesome, awesome stuff. Another game that was fixed for the update is the artwork border game, Commando. And uh, if you tried to load this in the last update, you would have had two issues. One of which, the game wouldn't even work. Secondly, the artwork was upside down. I fixed both of these. And once you get the update, you're going to be loading not Commando Zip, but you're going to be loading a USA version, Command U Zip. And uh, you're also going to have the artwork appropriately upright. I like to sometimes think this game has something to do with the Arnold Schwarzenegger, Alyssa Milano 1980s masterpiece, but it likely does not. But what we can do is make it more Arnold Schwarzenegger-like by going into the Cheats menu on this game. Options, Main Menu, Enable, Cheats, and let's see what we have to work with here. I uh, will give myself infinity grenades and long shot and see what we have to work with there. And we'll also give myself turbo mode fire activate. Why not? And let's see how far we can get here. And we have one more game to showcase after this. But we need to enable turbo fire here. Okay, and our grenades. Okay, we got this. I also like to compare the arcade to home ports in many cases such as Commando and Akari Warriors as well as the particularly very interesting ones that Capcom did with Strider and by the Commando where they are completely different than the home ver uh, arcade and home versions. I love the Metroidvania aspect feel of them. Very, very cool here. I feel pretty much Arnold Schwarzenegger Invincible like here. I don't think I'm going to have very much difficulty getting far in this. We're going to have a beautiful, beautiful game as our final showcase piece here today. Oh, great. But what we can do is go back into the main menu here. We'll really make it Arnold Schwarzenegger. We'll add a little bit of a Terminator element here. We'll get myself Invincibility Mode activate. Why not? Okay, and let's try this out for a moment. And uh, then we'll move on to our final game. Nothing's going to stop me now. I'll make it to the end of this game with no trouble whatsoever. Good training wheels for people who are introducing their kids or people who are novices to these type of games for the first time. This is cool as hell. Like your typical Rambo movie, kind of like Hot Shots 2, where Charlie Sheen is right up in the face and having that crazy kill counter as he shoots people uh, basically at point blank range. Okay, we got one final game to showcase there. We're going to do uh, Star Wars, which has a tremendous uh, update. The vectors are fixed, just like with MAME 2003 Extreme. But there's another fix in place that many of you might not have been aware of, and I'm going to show you right now. Star Wars was broken for the last couple of years, and it is now completely fixed, where you can actually play from beginning to end and beat it accordingly. So Star Wars is our final game today, and I really, really thoroughly hope you enjoyed the video. Now you're going to get the original Star Wars game, and it's bold, vibrant, glorious best, and you're going to be able to play this uh, with MAME 2003 Plus with the update. And I would recommend when you play Vector Games, whether or not you're on MAME 2003 Plus and or Extreme, to go into video settings, especially for Vector Games, and then enable bilinear filter. And it gives a much better representation of the authenticity of the original arcade Vector experience. 
and just disable it when you're done with the game when you go back to your other games or save it for that particular game. But I'm going to resume here. And uh, this is amazing. I'm going to have Turbo Mode Fire Activate. I'm going to have precise analog controls here. I mean, look at this. This is awesome. I'm going to go to Stage 3 because there's a big, big game-breaking bug at the base Stage 3 that you cannot even go to the next stage. It actually has you perpetually stuck in space, but it is completely fixed with MAME 2003+. Plus. And uh, I'm going to go into cheats here. Why not? I'm going to go into cheats and see what we have to work with here. We're going to give it a little bit of force here. Cheats. Look how beautiful this is. We're going to give myself infinity fills and always have force on. Now nothing's going to stop me and I'll easily make it to that breaking point. The choke point. Main menu off. And let's make it to the stage. We got this. And again, uh, the next video I post is going to be another Iron video. It's going to be showcasing more sound fixes in the games they're going to see even more appropriate to the arcade originals. I mean, they're true samples that time around. Really, truly dynamic. So you're going to have Iron games running better than ever before. Even Ninja Baseball Batman has a more uh, representation soundtrack of the original arcade one. But we're going to make it to the stage here, because when you try to go to stage 4, you perpetually get stuck in space if the bug is triggered. But with Main 2003 Plus, it is completely fixed now. Somebody brought this to my attention a while back, and I brought it up to the uh, Grand 2258 uh, arcades and uh, Mark WK, etc. And they were able to get this fixed, and it is now in the core update. Cool stuff here. These vector games look so tremendously amazing with the uh, fixes applied. But hope you enjoyed this video. I mean, these are some cool games that I showcased today. And it's going to be very, very fun to play Duck Hunt with a controller, without a doubt. I would have been pretty much done already if I didn't have uh, the invincibility and the unlimited force and all that. Let's take this out. There we go. And here's where it normally gets stuck. You pretty much be stuck in space here. You'll see what I mean for stage four. Okay. It was kind of uh, goofy and silly at the same time because I tested this bug out when I initially was uh, had it reported to me and right here, it goes nowhere. You get stuck here, you can be here for 20 minutes going nowhere. You never get to the Death Star. But now it's completely fixed and you can get to Stage 5 and pretty much get to the entire game. So it's a truly enjoyable experience and if you like these type of vector games, I would definitely recommend checking out the Star Trek one as well, and especially Tempest, which is one of the best looking ones of all. This is insanely cool. Right here, you'd never even be able to trigger the Death Star battle. But we're good to go. Hope you enjoyed the video. The update will be out within a couple days.